Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So it seems, once again, Google is in hot water. And this time, it's about a recent proposal that Google made for what they're calling a Web Environment Integrity API. Now, this latest proposal for the so-called Web Environment Integrity API is causing a lot of debate and controversy among web developers and the different major players with the web companies. And basically, these web developers are saying that it's giving Google and its affiliates too much control over access to the web because the web shouldn't be controlled by one major player. The web is a public space. Now, Google's uh, Chrome platform status page gives us a overview, a brief overview of what this so-called Web Environment Integrity API is all about. So just for the context of today's video, and I'm quoting this, Google says, Web Environment Integrity allows user clients to establish trust with web servers. This works by sending a verdict from a trusted tester containing key facts about the environment web pages run in. So that's the official overview on the Chrome platform status by Google. So what this means, basically, at the end of the day, if it's broken down, websites and services may use this new API to find out if a client is trusted. And this will be t will be determined by the so-called tester. So in other words, and in a nutshell, um, a group of testers may soon control whether um, your operating system, my operating system, and users' operating systems, web browsers, or other applications that are used are trustworthy. So that's basically, in a nutshell, what this debate is all about regarding this APR that Google has proposed recently. Now, because of this, um, as mentioned, a lot of these web developers and companies are uh, criticizing Google's proposal. And starting with Brave, now, Brave has said this uh, about um, this proposal of Google, and I'm just quoting this quickly from a tweet over on Twitter. Brave says they will not support this, and basically um, they will disable or otherwise nullify lots of other junk that Google puts into Chromium. So that's Brave's response to this latest APR. Then moving on to Mozilla. Mozilla has this to say about Google's proposal, and I'm quoting Mozilla opposes this proposal because it contradicts our principles and vision for the web. And then the last web developer for today's video uh, are Vivaldi. And Vivaldi has this to say, and I'm quoting once again, while Vivaldi browser thinks Google's new proposal, the web environment integrity, integrity spec is a major threat to the open web and should be pushed back. So basically, brave Mozilla and Vivaldi are totally against uh, this new proposal by Google, um, obviously for and their main obvious reasons when it comes to privacy and, as mentioned, the web is a public space and not to be controlled by one entity. Now, as many of you may know, um, the majority of browsers um, are now based on Chromium. So that's Vivaldi. Firefox isn't, by the way, but Vivaldi is. Firefox isn't. We still haven't heard from Microsoft regarding Edge with this new APR, so that'll be an interesting one to watch. Obviously, Brave is a Chromium uh, web browser, and... Um, the majority of, bro of browsers, as mentioned, are now based on Chromium. So a lot of the arguments are that Google has too much control, basically, over the web platform, as mentioned. So um, this could mean that Brave, Vivaldi, and other major web browsers and web developers will remove these Google services and APRs um, from their browsers, as mentioned. Um, as mentioned, Brave, Mozilla, and Vivaldi have said they are basically what nothing to do with this new APR. So this is going to be an interesting one to watch in the future. And it's possible, though, because of all these different um, concerns that Google may address um, this issue and consider and reconsider this proposal. But nonetheless, it's still early days. And just wanted to put it out there because obviously we do cover most of these web browsers on the channel. And just wanted to let you know accordingly if you are interested you know, in privacy and security and all things regarding the web as we do and follow on this channel. And obviously, if anything does change uh, regarding this so-called um, Web Environment Integrity API proposal by Google, I will post and let you guys know. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.